Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. Sample Tech has been creating virtual piano libraries for contacts since 2004. So they have a lot of experience in this area. And today we're gonna to take a look at their WG2 Mark II. And I've used this piano before, and so it's gonna be great to uh, take a look at it with you today. So let's get started. The WG2 Mark II, this um, is a very interesting library because it combines two different products that uh, Sample Tech created and it kind of brings them into uh, one unified uh, library. And uh, so let's just take a quick look at this beautiful library. It's based on a 1910 Malmsche uh, grand piano and uh, Malmsche, uh, that's, uh, they say that this piano just has a very unique sound. It's not like a Steinway or a Yamaha. It just uh, kind of brings to it something really unique. And so let's just dive into the interface uh, again and just kind of play through uh, the WG2 Mark II. You can hear it just has a nice warm quality to it. So the WG uh, references the White Grand. And so the White Grand was uh, a piano that was based on the 1910 Malmsche. And it is a close mic. And then the White Sister is based on the same piano, but the mic perspective is a little different. And so you'll see here, you have two different control knobs. One is for the WG volume, and we'll just bring this up um, and listen to that by itself. So you can hear the close mic. So they've mic'd it really close and tight. Um, and then uh, I've not um, really adjusted anything else uh, on the settings. So let's just turn this mic down and turn up the White Sister. Uh, and the White Sister perspective is a little farther out. Uh, and so let's take a listen at uh, that perspective. Yeah, so there's 16 velocity layers in uh, this library. And you can combine the two, you can mix the two pianos together. Uh, you have a reverb section here. Uh, it's a large room, a small room, a, a red room, a large hall, small hall. So. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just pull up the large room and uh, turn up the wet volume, uh, the wet mix a little bit, and get some uh, perspectives here. And I'm going to combine a little bit of the white grand and the uh, white sister together. Uh, in the middle here, you have uh, velocity, uh, response, uh, and then you can set minimum and maximum velocities to kind of if you're if you're wanting to get a certain dynamic. But this. Um, just kind of uh, up, you know, straight up and down usually is a good place. So 
I can get a lot of response from this. So I'm going to just kind of just mix it a little bit more and then just kind of go through, um, play it soft to loud. So let's take a listen to how that sounds. It has a real nice warmth to it. Um, I really like that. So you have the, the sympathetic resonance, and so the resonance volume overall, and then you have a shimmer. Now, this affects um, that sympathetic resonance when you have the pedal down and you're playing a bunch of notes and how they interact, especially with the sustain pedal down, all the harmonics interact with one another. I'm just going to turn this volume up so you can just kind of over exaggerate a little bit. And then the resonance volume. Let's turn that up. interesting effect there now the shimmer what the shimmer does yeah you hear it just kind of ringing and swimming um, so the shimmer is like a sympathetic resonance but it's like if the dampers um, are not fully tight on the string so if they're just a little loose so this just lets you kind of uh, adjust that a little bit So you can hear where the dampers aren't clamping down on the string, and so you get that nice little uh, release there, that resonance. So that's kind of nice. Let's pull up the um, the red room. That's kind of interesting. Um, and I'm going to just turn it all the way over to the wet side and just hear the white sister, the the more um, the more distant mic. That sounds really nice. It's kind of really airy and spacey. Yeah. And you hear that sympathetic resonance. It's kind of an interesting effect. reverb down just a little bit. It's always good to kind of come back to a library that you've reviewed before or played before and and kind of uh, reintroduce yourself to it and so i'm just really discovering just the nice richness that um, that i might have missed before it's just the nice warmth that i'm hearing So let's just uh, 
turn the reverb down just a little bit more. Let's go to the, um, just the large room again. Yeah, it just gives you enough of that that release. I like I like to hear a piano that breathes into the room. Uh, so you're not just necessarily hitting a wall, but you're going, you just hear that sound go out. So it just has that little, that, that life, that release. Um, so here, um, so I'm gonna bring the volume of the white sister and bring up the white grand, the close and the, close and the farther perspective. And you can, detune these to get some interesting effects. It's like a chorusing type of effect. Yeah, and I'm hearing some really neat things every once in a while coming in. So uh, let's get things back in tune. And so you have hammer noise, the key release noises, with the hammers resetting, and then of course the trusty uh, Good old trusty pedal noises here. Yeah, so all of those things just kind of add a nice little spice. If it's your first time, just go ahead and subscribe and uh, like and share and do all those fun things. I'm just going to pull this up uh, the large hall again um, and, um, and just kind of blend the two together and we'll just play a little bit more uh, with this. Well, thanks for watching and you can see the power in having two of these different pianos combined together so you have the close mic and the far perspective uh, remember to subscribe and all the links are going to be down in the description below uh, so you can enjoy this beautiful piano library from sample tech so this is simeon for audio plug-in deals and we'll see you next time